everybody, welcome back to Keith 60 Hot Shot Adventures. We're working on a 2005 Duramax 66 LLY. Doing the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, not too bad. It's about a, we'll say it's about a two hour job. You can do the whole, take apart the whole top of the motor if you so choose. I'm doing it the more troublesome way. It may be slower, I don't know. It took me about a half hour to get everything off. AC compressor, take off your EGR, this guy, here's the AC compressor, this is your intake, that's attached to the, that goes to the turbo, here's the other part of the EGR, it goes under your bridge, I just pried it, I just stuck a screwdriver down there and just kind of twisted it, popped it off, and it gives you the fuel pressure regulator right there this guy three t25s so I'm gonna work on continue getting those out and we'll be back all right everybody welcome back to the channel this is actually day two follow-up video we do have the brand new Bosch FPR fuel injector in there we're gonna get this all put back together here is the old one so the it is a T25 Torx. Uh, this is a cute little gear wrench. I found this is this was to be the best to use. This is actually just a, a bit you would use on the end of a impact drill or some of some nature because I tried three inch. I had a really short little extension right here on my other T25 quarter inch socket that was too short that was too long and then the body on this socket was too big was too fat so when it was right next to the pump to get to the bolts to get to these little bolts here it just wouldn't get to it and then I found this ended up working out perfect tad bit long and I had this guy here as well, which was a tad too short. So this ended up, I just made that work. This is a nice little flexible gear wrench. I don't necessarily have a part number for it. Let's see what drawer is in. It's just this gear wrench set. It takes these cool little bits. It's a, it's a super long wrench. Um, yeah, it just kind of, it's kind of like one of those throughs. I don't know if I can one-handedly get it to pop out. There we go. Yeah, so it's just a th it's just a through sock. Snap it in there. It stays pretty good. You'll find if you work on a like my 6.0, this becomes very handy when you're trying to get the valve covers off the passenger side or working on anything on the passenger side. All right, well, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut you guys off here, and I'm gonna spend 20 minutes and button this. Finish buttoning this back up. All right. In conclusion, if I was to do this job again, I would probably remove the thermostat housing that goes all the way around. I'd probably remove that. It probably would have saved me some time. I have a uh, some smaller hands to get in there but yeah it would probably save me time to get in there and get it swapped out quicker other than that yep the uh fuel pressure regulator sensor swapped it out truck's running it's running good again put my scan scan gauge tool on it and uh the actual versus the desired is matching and it doesn't shake and it runs pretty good again all right everyone later